Hello, this is Gary at White Knights, and I'm going to give you a tour of number four, Hurricane Way, which is an extended three-bedroom semi-detached. Now, this is a property that's got a double-storey rear extension, so normally it'd be the size of a four-bedroom house, but actually it's built as a three-bedroom with two bathrooms, which you'll see as we go in. So, firstly, just to point out, we've got the driveway parking here. There is a side gate taking you down to the rear garden. Let's just walk in the front door and show you around the property itself. So what we actually have here is uh, obviously the three bedrooms upstairs, um, very big master bedroom, um, super main bathroom with a four-piece suite, and then three reception rooms downstairs. So first of all, we're in the lounge. Um, this is, uh, it originally would have been the lounge diner. You can see in the distance there we have uh, doors opening into the dining room. That's part of the extension. Nice laminate, uh, wood laminate floorings. And just to the front here, if I spin round, you can see we've got a sort of deep window sill there. Double glazed sealed unit windows with the lattice finish. So a really nice size lounge. Just before we go to the dining room, on my right hand side here, I'm just gonna show you the, the sort of study family room, really. Um, so what we have here, if I look to my left, there's a door just into the downstairs cloakroom, which I'll show you in just a moment. And I'm just going to step in and spin round. And there's the remainder of the room. You can see we've got a little settee just sat there. Double glazed window again. Cupboard to the right hand side. Obviously, as you can see, used as a, as a, a sort of study at the moment but certainly would make a great kids uh, playroom, maybe uh, additional sort of family room. So here's the downstairs WC, pretty straightforward, white suite, there's the low level WC and a corner wash basin there, the radiator. So there's the, uh, <clears throat> this room again, the sort of playroom family room, back into the lounge, and let's just now make our way down towards the end here where you'll see the dining area here through these double doors. And uh, beyond the table, you can just about see that we've got some double French doors to the garden. The sunshine coming in at the moment will demonstrate to you that uh, it's got quite a sunny back garden. In fact, the garden is very close to south facing on this house. You can see the radiator to my right hand side. I'm just going to turn around and just give you an idea of this room from this angle as well. Okay, so um, we have a door giving access to the stairs just there and then the kitchen, which has also been extended. So quite a lot of uh, work surface space, a lot of kitchen units. I'll need to do a bit of spinning round here to show you. So let's just start breakfast bar to my left hand side there. There's a door to the garden and a rear aspect window. The boiler is in the cupboard in the corner. And then if I just turn around, you'll see we have lots of eye level units, lots of base units, a built-in uh, built oven, double oven actually. We've also got a built-in washing machine just behind this unit here. And just back under the sink, there's a built-in dishwasher just there. So integrated appliances and a space for an American style fridge freezer. That's actually a freestanding one, that one. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what we have downstairs. Let's just now take you upstairs and show you just how the extension has changed the dynamics and the size of the house. So we're on the landing first of all. Let me just... Uh, step back here and give you an idea of what the landing is like because uh, there's the staircase coming up. We've got an airing cover just in front of us there in the distance. So as I said three bedrooms let's start with the master bedroom that's this one here. So this is in fact part of the extended section of the house as you can see a long room lots of uh, built-in wardrobes the floor plan that we've got online 
will certainly give you an idea of the sizes of the rooms. Let's just uh, show you the ensuite to the main bedroom. So here we have to my left, the low level WC. There's the wash basin there, and then spinning round heated towel row, and then we have the shower cubicle at the end. Got a rain shower above, there it is. So that's the ensuite to the master bedroom. We do have a, I think we've got a super king size bed just here, so that shows you that that's fitted in nicely. And just another quick look at these wardrobes. There is actually a wardrobe just here as well. That's uh, built in. So yeah, really good sized main bedroom with its own ensuite. Second bedroom is at the front of the house. That's this one here. Again, we see we've got a nice laminate, wood effect laminate flooring. This actually is a double bed just sat here. And this is, these are freestanding wardrobes, so plenty of space for wardrobes. So that's the second bedroom. And then the third bedroom, which actually is certainly not a box room. It's a decent sized bedroom. You can see we've got the bed there, including a desk unit there. Front aspect window. And again, the laminate flooring. So that's the three bedrooms with ensuite to the master. This is now the family bathroom, which again is forms part of the extension, very good size. Let's just look to our right hand side first of all here, there's the load of WC, little bidet and the wash basin. Vanity cupboards under, you can see we've got a big mirrored splash, uh, splash back there. And then if I just turn around, heated tower on the left hand side, and then we have a, hopefully you can see it on the screen, we have a glass panel there, which takes you into a shower area which is sort of like a wet room effect, really. And then beyond that is the bath. So yeah, it's a super big bathroom with effectively, actually it's a five piece suite because we've got the bidet there as well. So that is the first floor and I've shown you the ground floor. Let's make our way downstairs now and let's show you the garden. Just quickly um, about the sort of the area where we are, we're on the airfield development, very popular part of Woodley. Um, let's just go through the French doors here. You can go through the kitchen. Um, and uh, yeah, location wise, we're very close to amenities. Um, walking distance to shops such as Tesco's Express, the doctor's surgery, pharmacy, uh, it's all very close by. So let's just focus on the garden. We've got a patio area here. I'm just going to turn around here and just point out we've got this, hopefully you can see it clearly on screen, it's a covered side access. It is quite wide as you can see, great storage space there. And then just spinning around, focusing on the garden. We've got the lawn. In the corner there, you can see we've got a sort of decked patio area. But this is the real feature of the garden. Sorry about the sun shining into the lens. This That demonstrates it's a south-facing garden. But what we have here is this timber chalet. It's, a, it's like a home office, fully insulated, double glazed sealed unit windows. Just first of all, to my left hand side, that is a storage cupboard, about nine foot in depth, so really big. And then let's show you the real feature, which is this. As I said, it's a home office as far as the construction is concerned, but of course it can be used as all sorts. I guess a gym, um, perhaps somewhere to work, work from home in different ways. Um, kids play area, study, anything really, it's one of those really nice buildings um, that uh, has all sorts of uses. 
It's got electric in here. You can see we've um, just just there in front of me. We've got an electric heater. It's a wood laminate flooring again. And then that's the doors opening back into the garden. So that just about concludes the tour of number four, Hurricane Way. Very large three bedroom, two bathroom, semi-detached house. If there's any questions, then do ring the number on our website. Ask to speak to Gary. I'm sure I can answer those questions for you. Alternatively, it's the same telephone number to arrange a viewing appointment. So it just remains for me to say thank you for watching.